rolling. Is that recording this time? Yeah, this time, <laughs> this time we gotta set up set up correctly. I think right. we're good, man. <laughs> Sweet. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up, Welcome man? back. Welcome back to the Excess Podcast. Number three. Number three. Number three, and we finally got listed on Spotify, and yes. Apple Music, and Podchaser, uh, TuneIn, Alexa. Let's um, go. We submitted to Google. iHeartRadio. Amazon, iHeartRadio. Those are all um, in the process. Dope, dope. Um, yes. the, second epi- the second episode is up, you know, and hopefully this one will be up, and, you know, that's what's up, man. We, we out there. We're yeah. getting out there, little by little. We're still learning. There's a lot of things we're learning. We're I'm trying to get these lot. sounds to be good. Yeah, like the volume from episode one to episode two was like night and day. Yeah, yeah, it sounded really you different. Know, minor adjustments, and <laughs> we're gonna get some vibes changing up in here. What's mm. for the people watching us? Yes. Uh, for everybody listening, you know, thank you. Like we're we're brand new to this, yeah. and uh, you know, we're just trying to to speak our minds with y'all. We hope to hear from you if you're watching and you you know wanna want to chime in feel free to leave a comment on something that you know that strikes you uh good or bad whatever you know what i'm saying we just yeah. want to welcome you guys to <laughs> something that make you laugh like is a lamb a goat Type is a lamb a goat <laughs> <laughs> yo those, i mean i feel like i just i'm just trying to speak real questions that just come at me boom sometimes i like i feel like sometimes i speak before i process and then i and i need to though like i need to speak it out loud so that I could think about it, uh-huh. but sometimes, like, I'll ask, I'll ask a question to somebody, and then, like, as I asked it, they were processing it, and then I'm, like, answering it myself, and then they're answering it, and then I'm, like, oh, snap. <laughs> so, like, if I asked you how many calories are in a human thigh, like, if you were a cannibal, yeah. and you were going to eat a part of a human, mm. you think you'd go for, like, the belly or something, right? Nah, the but belly, like, there's nothing in there. That's like a sack of of uh, other organs. Yeah, all right, true. <laughs> uh, so, like, think about the thigh meat, bro. Mm, you know, how many this, calories? This is the biggest muscle we got right here, though. Well, I mean, sometimes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah nah. it depends, depends on what time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the human thigh is like yeah. 13,000 calories, bro. Just the thigh? 13,000? Yeah. I mean, you could live off that for a while. For a while, right? What's the average calorie diet? Like 2,000, 2, supposedly. And you said there's 13,000? Yeah, so that's like six and a half days. Yeah, you could survive a week off, off, off a of human Off of one leg, thigh. bro. Why don't we eat people? I mean, besides the fact that it's illegal. But <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> that actually, no, but that is interesting because, like, how, if, if there's 13,000 calories, does that affect like how we eat like is that why we need to eat like 2,000 or 1,000 calories a day to like maintain well I'd imagine we have to eat a certain amount of calories to maintain like muscle mass and stuff right Right? there's some I know like I think it's JJ Watt of the Texans a football player okay he eats like 10,000 calories a day which is fucking insane 10,000 yeah that's a lot you know that's too much isn't the normal amount but like 2,000 have, have you seen this guy he's enormous okay you know? yeah yeah that's, look at that's the rock true. you follow the, the rock, rock on yeah. instagram Dwayne. he eats so much but he's got to maintain all that in order to maintain the massive mass that they have really you know? Ten thousand. yeah Jeez. yeah i like I that's like, a few you know, big macs I got some, yeah well we add some calories bro i got i got some <laughs> fucking um uh, some little homemade christmas cookies bro. oh let's go i need one christmas let's cookie. go my mom made I'm gonna these get the snowflakes i love hexagons They're a little like little snowman joint nice let's go Pass it around. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, they sugar cookies, bro. This is eventually going to be like the breakfast club, bro. We're going to have like people here just vibing with us. Yeah, I'm with it, man. Can you throw that cover back on for me? Yeah. I probably shouldn't be eating cookies right now. <laughs> but yeah, fucking crumbs it's in my dope, beard. Man. They're good, right? Wow. little sugar cookies. Mm-hmm. There's probably like 300 calories in this one cookie. You know? So, and then you just got to get some beer to wash <laughs> it down, bro. So this man would need at least 30 cookies to satisfy his... His uh, I guess so. His calorie intake. Mm-hmm. Right. Thirty sugar cookies. That's a lot. Could you eat that many? Nah, thirty. I don't know. I'm I'm not really a sweets dude. Like I, I'm more of a salty like snack kind of dude. Like Doritos all mm-hmm. day. You know, 
I was watching this uh, How It's Made, something something along that line. You ever seen those shows? Mm-hmm. I love and that. It was, like, satisfying. This one was all about food. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was cream puffs. <laughs> so they're these little tiny, little tiny things filled with the whipped cream or whatever. And the owner or the person who was in charge said the most he's ever eaten in one day was 50. Damn. I'm like, holy shit. I could probably eat 50 cream puffs in a day. <laughs> You know, because when I sit down to eat a Go snack, in. I'm not going to be that guy that gets, like, five potato chips. Mm. I'm going to eat the bag till I I'm forget gonna that I'm bag. eating. I'm going to eat the bag. I'm going to get the bag, and then I'm going to eat it. <laughs> that's what you got to do, man, you know? <laughs> no, that's true. I uh, I like I like the idea of, like, um, just getting the bag and <laughs> eating it, bro. Mm-hmm. You got me thinking about food right now. <laughs> Yo, it's because these cookies are bomb. I'm sorry being all disrespectful, chewing in the microphone and shit, man. I know it's like Xbox. Like you ever you ever play a Xbox game through the headphones? You no, see no, other no, people no. eating. It's I'm like you can hear the. Guy, bro. Oh no, yo. I don't listen. Play, I don't play video games. I'm gonna tell you right on. now that that whole world of what you say. <laughs> I said I'm a PlayStation guy. I don't sit there and play Xbox. Like you know, play video games with my pants off. That's not oh. my style. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I got a PS4. I got a PS4. I was just referencing the whole gaming thing. But I mean, like, damn, what was I going with this? <laughs> I was saying that. About people eating and shit in the microphone? Right, right, right. So, like, sometimes in that whole, like, uh, in that whole exchange, that that whole, like, online gaming player exchange be wild, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, very crazy in terms of like people speaking crazy, talking down, you know what I'm saying? Saying some wild shit on that, bro. So, speaking of video games, okay. Last week we talked about Cyberpunk. Bruh, don't even Tell get us me about started. It, man. Give us a little quick summary. Don't even get me started. <laughs> let me finish. I'm a, let me have another bite real quick. I'm about, I'm about to go in on Cyberpunk. Listen, first of all, I heard about Cyberpunk. It was supposed to come out last year, uh-huh. November. I found out about the game and I fell in love with the idea. It reminded me of like a merging between GTA and Destiny, which are dope. GTA is like open world, you can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Destiny's the same, but Destiny's a shooter game. And GTA is like a, like a quest game, so it's kind of really dope. It's a little bit of both, right? So I was really excited about it. And then they pushed it back to mm-hmm. March 2020, right? Then the pandemic pandemic Man. you already know let's let's blur to what it is today which you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. <laughs> and we're here right it was supposed to come out a month ago oh shoot and then they said that they needed to postpone it so that they could test their software and all that the game test the game with the platforms that came out you know how ps5 oh, just came yeah, out yeah, yeah. so obviously they hadn't tested the ps5 because it was hadn't officially been released so they wanted to postpone it a month yeah, to make sure it was properly... Make all these glitches and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, bugs. Yeah. They needed to call an exterminator. They needed to call an exterminator. Yo, that game is full of bugs, bro. Oh, really? Bro, my God. And it was like, it's so frustrating because at least in my experience, it's like every time that the, that the mission... Like you're in a mission, right? And you're mm-hmm. like a mercenary. So, like, I just played the whole... Ge- I just played the whole system right now in this game. Somebody was offering money to pick up a piece. It's like a, a important government thing. Okay. And then this other person was like, "Oh, if you pay with my money, then I can help you, whatever." So she gave me this credit card, and then when I met the dude, I betrayed the lady. Oh shit! Right. And then when the dude found out, I, I betrayed that dude, right? <laughs> Damn, you so, sound pretty trustworthy. Yo, well, in the game, it, it, yo, in the game, it's like I'm starting from the bottom, so I yeah. can't be soft already because I'm like in the game, I like chose the path that you're like supposed to be like coming from outside the city into the city, so you're like you don't know anybody, you mm-hmm. know. So like I gotta I gotta make ends meet, you know what I mean? I'm trying to upgrade my body and do these things. Right. So. so, anyways, um, throughout the whole game, is like you expect the frame rate is like a big thing because if you're if you're like uh, if you, if you're playing the game and your character is moving through the world, you want it to feel like smooth, like, yeah, like human, you, like real life. Walking. You know what I'm saying? Like they're actually walking. So like it seems to have a problem with frame rate. I have a PS4, so I I think the game would probably play a lot better on a PS5. But if they were gonna take a month 
the PS4 version should have been like yeah, because like how many people actually get in PS5? Like right. they're really hard to get, right? And For they're real. like a gajillion and a half dollars. Yeah, yeah facts. that's a lot. Yo, I just had someone tell me today, right? Oh man, they hit me up at two thirty. Um, yo, the PS5s are going on sale at three p.m. Send me a link. Three p.m. I heard about it, bro. They were sold in like thirty seconds. You think that's the bots? I heard it's bots, bro. Cause like, I heard it's Amazon bots. Uh, really? <laughs> Conspiracy Yo, corner. Listen, coming soon. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I hate bots, mm. and I hate bots because I'm a sneakerhead. Mm. And the Nike, Nike's my thing. That's my my main thing. But when these sneakers get released on the sneakers app, it's nearly impossible to fucking mm. get it. You know. Because so many people have bots. I wanted to get the, I wanted to get Kanye's. I've given up on trying, yo. I feel like I can't get a, a pair of Kanye's. Man, I got boosts. I got lucky once. I got the Zebra Yeezys. It was and like my holy grail. One more time, yo. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and they keep releasing, man. Like you know, and <clears throat> I'm uh, give me a pair, yo. The Kobe, the Kobe Grinches are coming out, like either this week or next week. Dope. But they're gonna be so impossible to get ever since Kobe died. Yeah. R.I.P. Kobe. But that fuck the bots, man. That's yo, all I'm saying. For real. And then uh, fuck the bots in Cyberpunk too, yo, because they be fucking up. The bots, like the characters that are supposed to come and fight you, some of them don't even shoot you. I I shot this in this car. There's this car chase scene. Boom, boom, boom. You're killing this dude. They say shoot the driver. Boom, Sounds you shoot aggressive. the driver. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like <laughs> an action. It's like an action movie. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, and but you're playing it, so you're like in and it. Keanu Reeves. So you have to choose, right? Right. And Keanu Reeves. I just I get to meet him now. Like I'm like playing. Oh yeah, as he's actually part of it right i see Bruh, this, so this chip that you steal what, what i'm understanding is this chip that you steal is like it's a subconscious mm -hmm. so when you put it in you it, it like he's in your brain oh shit and you get to play his memories and then he he, he he like becomes a hologram in your world that interacts with you and tells you things like he knows these secrets about this government uh -huh. and he has to take it has to take the government down Damn. You know what I mean? And he wants you to help him. But then the government is like saying that he's a terrorist. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't let this man uh, c tell you what to do because he's a problem. He's a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty deep. But I wish that the game wouldn't freeze. <laughs> okay. That's the one thing that happens. My uh -huh. bad. I, 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 no, it's all good, bro. The, the dude, um, he, um, every time that the game gets intense, you know, you're about to go shoot, you get uh, the game crashes, bro. That's Damn. The worst. So it's like back when. When the the internet just came oh. out for the video games, I used to I never had the wireless joint, so I had the the cord plugged in. Yeah, yeah, the all w the way land. all the way across <laughs> my living room to the phone line. Nice, you know, like you playing Madden back in the day, and you would go to hike the ball, and my shit would just freeze. Oh, and then when it the unfreezes, worst. I'm sacked. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because the dial up would just yeah, because like, the dial up like was slow. The most people nowadays, most of these kids nowadays, they, they don't, don't know. They don't know the is, struggle, man. yo. They don't know the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check your headphones real quick. Man. What if those were like alien like codings that we were actually like sending out? It, it could uh, be. It's kind of interesting because why is it all every every computer that was logging into the internet was creating the same sound sequence? It was the same. Yeah, why did we need to hear a sound? Right? Like, what is that? They're conditioning us so that when the when the we probably sent these signals out so much, and some alien out there heard it like years ago, and they're traveling over here. It takes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they're over here, like they're gonna show up and be like, yeah, <laughs> some Bob Lazar shit right there, bro. It's for real, for real, it goes deep, it goes deep. The rabbit hole goes deep. Yeah, bro. for sure. Yo, what's going on <sighs> in sports right now, bro? Oh man, I don't know, but I watched that. Uh, that Ravens Browns game last night, oh my gosh! I seen I seen Lamar come off, uh, like off an of injury. No, to, I guess he had cramps or some shit. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, cramps. The COVID so cramps. Maybe I mm -hmm. don't know. He had COVID, so mm. it could be. You know, just like that kid, uh, Deon. I think it's Deontay Johnson, the kid that plays for uh, the Florida Gators, the mm, college he basketball passed team. Out or something he like passed that. out, wow. but he was one of the players that had COVID. Yeah, you know, so they announced today that he's he's out of the the coma, and he's alert. He's talking. He like Facetimed his That's team and up. shit. That's what's up. Yo, but I don't think good. they've officially said what it was. You know, but the people suspect it's like they, COVID they say related. Problem. COVID shit messes does something to your heart or whatever. Hmm. Um, but like that game last night, that shit had my heart going because 
I mean, I love a good game. You know what I mean? And I was rooting for the Browns. I'm not. I don't like the Ravens, man. Nah, like you, the Ravens. you think the, you don't like the hype train on that? Nah, man. <laughs> listen, Lamar's good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. You know, but without him, they ain't shit. Mm. You know, and you can't have that. Look at what happened when Tom left the Pats. Facts, yo. <sighs> shit hurt my heart. We still doing all right, though. Are, they, are we in the playoffs? We still in? Nah, I ain't going to make nah. the playoffs. Damn. We're like six and seven. Oh, okay. It's like right, something, breaking something even. Something like something. that. Yeah, Damn. I wouldn't mind finishing eight and eight. You I'm know, so grateful. I'm so grateful I got to go see a game, yo. Oh, I feel yeah. like, damn, like that's like such a different experience. It's crazy, right? It's I got to see fun. the GOAT before COVID, yo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> before <laughs> yes. COVID, bro. Before COVID. I feel, I feel like that's like life now. Yeah, you know? there's going to be a lot of references to that. Yeah. That's, what, that's the new BC. It's like my birthday's in March. Yeah. And shortly Whoa. after my birthday, like... Two weeks after my birthday, life just stopped. <laughs> so I was like, damn, that was a shitty-ass birthday present. Yo, what if they just made a new BC, bro? Like, would it be BBC? <laughs> because we already got a B. Oh, we can't, we can't use that. That category might already be taken. <laughs> nah? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just checking. I'm trying to make suggestions, you know, but you think what you want to think. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it could be BBC. It could be. It could, yeah. Yo, that's wild. Man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, sometimes like my mind takes a little idea and just explodes it, and then I go on these paths that like explore these places. Like I'm just imagining like the world, like a new COVID. You know what I'm saying? There was this, um, there was this movie that just came out, or like a. Uh, did we talk about it last week? Was it? I don't know. Well, I might have mentioned it to somebody recently. Um. Songbird is a movie that just came Songbird. out. I think it came no, out recently, um, with uh, directed by Michael Bay, like Transformers. You know what I'm saying? Like an epic, okay. epic, like adventure movie type shit. Um, and it's about, uh, I, I guess, the, what they, what he envisions the future being like with mm-hmm. this COVID pandemic and like the government and, and so, people so going wild. Relatively like. In new. the in the new few yeah it's supposed to it dates it in twenty twenty three oh okay and it says that there's a new COVID twenty twenty three that COVID has mutated and oh that now it affects God. the brain and shit and it just got me thinking about how life imitates art but like or I should say art imitates life like that's uh-huh. the phrase art imitates life but a part of me also thinks that like art inspires life you know what I mean like mm-hmm. it it propels ideas. Or introduces ideas that weren't there before if it wouldn't have been for art, you know what I mean? Like, if it wouldn't have been for the drawing of a flying car, it would have just been maybe, like, someone's imagination. True. And then they drew it, like, in the Jetsons, Mm -hmm. and it became, at least cartoonish, it became possible to accept the idea. And then, you know, we're still pushing towards that realization, but that art inspired a lot of this technology you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like i can't um like go go gadget i know we made a reference to that last time yeah the, the watches i got one you got right the watch here, right bro. there yeah just be like hey you know call <laughs> manny and that be like, that art inspired yo because i remember him doing that and now we do that i don't do that yet but i might i would like the go go gadget arm mm. if i just get something i'd just be like with the with the, with the spring thing oh, yeah it's like, like a little like accordion spring. thing you know we're gonna have to put a little picture of of uh, of yeah. Inspector Gadget with his arm out. Yeah, I'll do that. Do that. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound it made. He had the helicopter on yeah. top of the head, and he would like hold the handles, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, Go Go Gadget would be an awesome Super Smash character. Yo, do you play Super Smash? You ever play Super Smash? I have played it. Yeah. Bro, Go Go Gadget. What's his name? Inspector Gadget. <gasps> <gasps> Remind me, yo. That could I be still his know song. the song. That's <gasps> weird, right? Bro, I don't know how I remember some I'm shit. I'm gonna pitch that. Inspector Gadget, Super Smash Brothers, please. He would be awesome because that could be his up smash. He could be like, and he would just fly up the map if you know. Kick you it, with his leg or some shit. He he could be like, <laughs> bang, and he got the punch already, bow, and then he could call in like a favor. Uh-huh. Didn't he have a dog? Yeah, um, Penny. Scru- Penny was the daughter. Okay. What was the dog's name? There was a dog. I remember there being a dog that also dog had was like pretty warning. smart too, right? Yeah, he had like abilities too, right? Yeah. Some shit like that. I have to check it out. 
Yeah. <laughs> find out. That was the shit, though. Back in the day, that was, like, futuristic. And the music was dope. You never saw the bad guy, too. It was just, like, his hand. Yeah, I forgot his name. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get it for the people. Yeah, yeah. Next week, <laughs> go, go, <laughs> Gadget. Go, go, Gadget, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Yo. Yo. So I came across a realization yesterday, bro. Okay. Um, I shot a video, right? We were shooting a video. For what? Oh, I got a, I got this song, uh, PSA that I'm working on, which is like, it's like, it's very empowering. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I like, want. PSA, public service announcement yeah, type of shit? Yeah, okay. public service. Like, I feel like every artist has their PSA, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jay-Z. Allow like, me to reintroduce myself. Uh, Eminem had his own PSA, you know what I mean? So, like, I feel like it's just, like, um, it's just a great moment to just, like, express, like, your, sure. your like, belief in yourself. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? What you got going on. So, like... Um, I, I kind of want that energy to be felt by everybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I think um, uh, I, I, I was correlating the video to a, a mural that I did. This summer, I was just like, I was itching to paint. Right? When I used to be, when I, when I was in high school, I used to do graffiti. Yeah. Um, and so, like, painting and the graffiti thing was always just, like, something that was, like, that drew me into art. Or, like, I should say graffiti drew me into, like, hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, like, very into, uh, you know, Christian music and, like, gospel music. Yeah, it's and a then, big difference. Yeah, and then I started drawing, and through that, like, you know, like, it all kind of became, like, I started listening to the hip-hop and be like, oh snap. Like, this. I fell in love with, like, the 90s, like... Diddy era, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when um, hip hop was hip hop. Yeah, man, it's, <laughs> it was just a beautiful feeling, yeah. you know. And then like all of that, I just was itching to paint this year. I released a video for I Wonder, and we shot this video with like a legend from the city. His name is Above. Shout out to Above for blessing my life with his art, yo. Yes, sir. We shot this video in the summer. I had another artist, Naturals from the city. He did like a frog. He's like really nice with realism uh, and like the animals. The coqui, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Which is like I feel like I'm the coqui of of you know what I'm saying, and that's how I like to like just you know rep uh-huh. my rep my heritage in that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So so we put this video up. Boom! It, it's great, and I'm like, damn, I want to paint, man. So I paint, and the, the, the thing I used to like drawing the most was was Dragon Ball Z. Like, okay. When I was, like, in high school, like, I used to really love, like, the anime, the way they did the eyes. It always looked really, like, aggressive in a cool way, like, but clean, but aggressive, like, Arr, you know? So I was like, all right, I'm going to draw Goku. So okay. I, I sketched out a Goku, put him on, on my garage That's wall. That's to do with, like, the spiky yeah, hair, Yeah, Goku's, the like, he's, like, the main shit. character of yeah. Dragon Ball. He's, like, the hero. Um, his hair is, like, just naturally, it naturally it kind of parts and falls to the side, but uh-huh. when he becomes, like, ascended like super saiyan or other levels there's like other levels that he becomes over over the course of the dragon ball dragon ball saga uh-huh. right um his hair changes colors and like the color and the length and even like his body sometimes changes it all kind of represents him leveling up and it's like every time that he's had to um when he become when he faces adversity right when he faces adversity it levels him up okay and um that's cool. W- right? Like, it was just like, he has to. Like, a new a new enemy comes in, and no one can destroy him until Goku comes through. But Goku always has to go through some ish to be able to level up. And it usually happens in the last moments when, like, when they most desperately need it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, kind of, yeah. like, really intense, like, anime. Right. They, their plots are always like that. It's cool. Dope, dope, dope <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Save but, the climax for the end. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly, bro. Like, very intense yeah, climax, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then... So I'm I'm painting, boom, and I did this Goku mural just because I loved, like, I just had fun painting. And then it dawned on me, like, yo, this looks good. <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, I might I might just shoot sure. a video in front of it, you know? I know, I've seen this. It's dope. Yeah, and then, and so, okay, so that brought this idea of, like, all right, cool, I'll shoot a video, but what am I going to shoot, right? And right around that same time, I was, like, building this PSA song, and it was like, oh, like, it almost feels like a fight scene from a Dragon Ball Z, like, like, uh, scene, you know, like, uh-huh. they had a lot of rock in it, there's a lot of guitars, a lot of, like, building, dun, 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 stuff dun, dun, to, like, hype you up, a lot of building and shit, yeah, you know, yeah. so, like, it all just felt like it was, like, purposely happening, like, and in a way, the, the mural inspired the song, mm-hmm. which is inspiring the life, right, you know what right. I'm saying, and then I'm hoping that this 
this video when I put it out, it inspires people to level up. You know what I'm saying? Like I really have leveled up from the person I was 10 years ago. Sure. And and it's I'm like proud of it because it's possible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it I really mean, just happens. Making music in a basement to, to, to having to, your own studio. Bro, and, like, and even just, difference. like, having the sound. Like, I'm, I'm really proud of, like, the sound and how it, it, it sounds, like, you know, quality things. And I'm, like, really happy with that. So I'm shooting this video yesterday. And, you know, like, I'm just at a barbershop with my friend. He owns a barbershop. He, left, he was down to do this video. And shout out to uh, the Sharp Club for... You know, opening its doors, um, you know, during this time, bro. When it's, yeah, you know, for it's sure. crazy out there. Uh, you friends know, are good, man. Friends are good, you know. And, uh, okay, so we, we shot this video. And then I come back home and I'm chilling. And uh, we're watching through the, the footage. And in the footage, you obviously, you get the real life stuff. So if something happens in real life, it's like you see all of it because it's a recording, right? Right, so, right. So I, I never... It, it, even watching these these podcasts have been interesting because, like, n- people don't, at least I don't always like listen to myself talk, or, and then watch myself, and like think about my tendencies it's and weird. the things I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like people would benefit from recording themselves without trying to be something just being you know what I mean so you can genuinely see like Kinda who like you are or how you are live your life as if there's a camera on you type of shit no well it, it as, as a tool to reflect cause there's a lot we could learn and I'm learn I learned something crazy yesterday that like that I'm still trying to understand okay about myself right because like so in the in the footage we were looking at it that there was a we were we were doing a take and the speaker my my girl had plugged it in. I seen that she had plugged in the speaker, mm-hmm. and then I uh, turn on the the song we're playing, and then the song stops because the the speaker's like low battery, right? Like it just like stops <laughs> That's and how warns it you. Yeah, yeah. Burp, low battery. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? We plugged you in. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, plugged yeah. You in. So, <laughs> but so it happened, and and my reaction naturally is to just be like, oh, it didn't plug in. Right? It ain't plug in. Like, what a surprise. Right. I was I would I would have thought it was good. Quick. Right? Yeah, it, yeah. I wasn't even thinking or feeling. I was just like, Oh, it didn't plug in? in inside of me, in my head, right? Uh-huh. So when I look at the recording, the way it came out came out like I was like, It didn't plug in. Like Oh, like like rude. Like yeah, yeah. um uh, um, um, like I was condescending, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, kind of like you and Matt, that it didn't happen. Yeah, it, 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 but but it was like a moment for me because I'm looking at myself reacting in a way that I knew I wasn't feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't, for, you know, it just happened, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it got me thinking, bro. It really got me thinking a lot about like this thing about intent versus impact, which is like, uh, it's something that um, I've, been exposed to that idea of intent and impact through some like professional development through like schooling and stuff like mm-hmm. they they teach you like about you know different things from how, you know education like how to work with people and kids and you know ethic ethical ways to be and stuff so this whole intent and impact came into my life yesterday bro okay. because i really I, I realized like i had to ask my girl i was like babe am i always like that like I was like a it, little it em- you, takes embarrassed, you back, right? bro. Like I was like embarrassed, and I, I've been thinking about it all day. Like, damn, like I can't. I've been thinking about it all day, bro. Like, do I gotta apologize to mad people? Even though, like, it, you, there's a part of you that like you just have to be yourself, and you're not responsible for other people's reaction to you. Like, you can't be responsible for that because you only are responsible for yourself. Mm-hmm. But there is a a. a a part of me that is like just drawing more consciousness to how I'm coming off. Right. And I've been thinking about it a lot. Like I feel like I gotta apologize to people. But then I'm wondering, is that something that people need to apologize for? Because it could be cultural. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't think you would have to apologize to people, but I think you could, you know, if you feel that way, you could 
work on it. Yeah. You know, without telling people you're working mm, on it. Just kind of like be a little more conscious of what you're doing, you know? Like, I was in the barbershop Thursday, and I got told that I was one of the biggest haters. <laughs> and I was like, for real? Yo, they think you're a hater? Yeah, I'm like, I didn't, maybe I'm a hater. I don't see it. You know, I don't try to hate on nothing. Yeah, I try yeah. to, you know, I give my input on literally everything. You show me something, I'm going to. I'm going to make a comment about it, you know? Yeah. A lot of times it's funny. <laughs> a lot of times, apparently, I'm fucking hating. You know? So I'm like, damn, man. So maybe what? I am. You That's know, I don't crazy, I don't yeah. know. Nobody tells me. You know, my boy's honest with me. So I'm like, yeah. shit, all right. Other people are seeing it. It's hmm. not going to just be said, you know? So Right. I'm so like, those are moments that make you, like, reflect. Yeah, you know? like, oh, shit. I guess I got to work on that because I don't want to be known as a hater. Right, I'm not right. a hater, man. Yeah. I love, I'm a, I'm a lover. That Damn. sounds crazy, but it makes me think like when we, when we was like, when we was like doing those band things, I'd be bossy, yo. Do I be mad? No, no, I wouldn't say bossy, but you wanted like every show. Obviously, every show had to be perfect, right? As I mean, perfect as, as, we, as we could, could, as we could. You yeah, know, yeah. so I wouldn't say bossy, but. You know, if you wanted something, you were pretty stern about it. Yeah. But you didn't, like, say, nah, you did that wrong. You did that wrong. Like, nah, you weren't like that. Right, where, where, where? I'm always, like, thinking about that part of me. Plus, you know what I'm saying? I think with, with the band, we, we kind of, like, all of us are all always upbeat. Yeah. So we kind of, like, cracking Just, jokes and trying to, we're always keeping it live. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, that was the part that I was trying to, like, that I'm still trying to decipher, right? So... I'm realizing that a part of it comes from me just culturally in my Spanish side. Um, you you kind of roast as a way to build, you know, some kind of like sure. f- like bond as brothers. Yeah, you know, what I, mean? I roast all the time. You bro. roast, you like, <laughs> you make fun of things together or at each other if something. You know what I'm saying? You just like you support each other. You also have those moments where you roast, right? Yeah, for sure. And like, and maybe like I like I need to just be more conscious of who I let that side be shown to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how do I show that to people? Because, like, I saw myself reacting on camera, and I was like, damn, like, I didn't even, I wasn't even feeling a certain way. I can't imagine how I might come off if I'm st- speaking passionately about something. Right. I have a friend who's very passionate about about things when he speaks, and, and I, you know, I'm starting to realize that maybe I myself might be like that, too, where, like, the passion comes off as, like, it might be too, like, yeah, well, I don't know. Is that, like, a thing? Where, like, people are just, like, more aggressive because they just... Yeah, when, when you're passionate... I know, me personally, when I'm passionate about something, I'm I'm all in. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I guess some people could look at it that way. Hmm. But, you know, if it's your boys or your people, whatever, then they're going to know, yo, man, he's passionate about this. So when he talks about this, he goes in, bro. Yeah, you right, know? right. But like... somebody who doesn't know you... Is gonna think, be like, yo, who's this asshole? Right. You know? Is that the thing? Is it? Is it just a frame? Like I'm almost thinking. Like I, I learned something in physics called uh, frame. Pers- I think it was frame relativity or frame perspective. I actually don't remember because it was a while ago. But it's the idea that like it, when you're in the car uh-huh. and you're still, but the car next to you moves, you feel that sensation. Yeah. Even though sometimes you feel like, oh shit, did I just go backwards? Yeah. 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 Um, I forgot how that connects to what we were saying. But I was going somewhere with that. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I'll i tell you, I watched back our episode two Okay. this past weekend to reflect and try to get some more ideas or, you know, see what we could do better or what I could do better. And I realize that I don't stop talking. <laughs> and I was like, this is awful. You know, I'm like, I talk way too fucking much. And I hit you up. Yeah. Right? That yeah, same yeah. night. I was like, yo, I just watched the podcast back. I really liked it. But I'm sorry that I fucking talk so much, nah. man. And I never realized it uh, until I started until watching watch back. It. Yeah. I don't know if it's just my brain's always, always moving. And I'm always trying to learn new things. And um, power of conversation is, is massive in my wow, opinion. Oh, yeah. You know, so I don't know. I just, I just do it, and I don't. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. You know, yeah, which is crazy. Power of conversation. That's a powerful phrase right there, bro. That can really open minds. Words. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, that's how this got started, right? Right. 
Because this conversation right here, yeah, right now, yeah. yeah, we're being video recorded and we're audio recorded. But this is literally the types of conversations we have. Facts, bro. You know, Just like I, on the regular. I was talking to my ma, and she was like, oh, yeah, have fun at your podcast. And I was like, oh, it's... That's just you guys. Yeah. You know, because Ma's like been there for when we just have our random random conversations about everything. And we don't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, the power of conversation is is massive. If you no, can... but I really appreciate that you do talk a lot. Because sometimes I just be, like, in my thoughts, like, waiting and thinking, like, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. See, you are processing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm always, I'm always in that, like, just thinking and, like, listening and just looking for that moment where, like, my input is of value to what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, True. Like, oh, I gotta... I mean, you don't really, in my opinion, you don't really speak just to speak. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't know, I, I hope that I'm the same way, that I, I speak to actually bring something important to the conversation, yeah. you know? But, I mean, I guess we don't really know until mm. we watch back. Right, right, until you just look back and reflect. Reflection's a huge piece. Like, I used to record myself when I first started, like, teaching. You had to record yourself. Like, that was part of the course. Oh, okay. You had to go to a school with these, you know, like, your fresh, uh, fresh, like, what they call it, green? Your green? A That's gringo? A, no. <laughs> no, a little different? <laughs> no, it's like when you're, when you're green, yeah, yeah, you're, like, you're fresh green. or something like that. Yeah, I understand. Oh, so, so you know, you're green in the field, and then you, you go in there, and then, you know, you got all these little kids, and you're like, oh, snap, right? Like. I gotta make sure I do this right because I'm being videotaped. So like you're trying to like, it's interesting, bro. Like the whole process of like trying to implement a lesson, you know. what I'm saying when you do or you don't have a relationship with the students is very different. So sure, you know that whole experience. Like you have to videotape yourself so you can see like how do you react? Do you give yourself? Do you give the kids enough time? Okay. Did you feel prepared? Like, um, did you answer that question correctly? A lot of times, what we what we do when we when we watch those tapes is we we listen to how we respond so that we can like analyze like where what did that was that answer was that question answered mm -hmm. or what does that question point to that the kid might be struggling with in, in this particular topic in math like oh he might he might if he's asking this question you might want to address the fractions because it may you know what i'm saying that's like a typical thing yeah like the thing before that so you can kind of see if he understands that like the prior thing. knowledge sure. yeah yeah gotcha. so you know i think reflection is an important important um thing that we need to do in life and i'm just realizing that i need to just reflect a little more on my daily exchanges yo like just just sit back with it a little, a little bit and just and think you know so do feel. you do you think that you could get in the routine of, let's say, on Sundays to just write down a bunch of shit that happened during the week and kind of hmm, that's nice. reflect on it hmm. and say, oh, shit, I had this one interaction on Monday that I probably was out yeah. of line a little bit. How could I adjust that? Like, why can't we grade ourselves ultimately yeah every week. I, I think there's things that are still continuously in the back of my mind that i'm still reflecting on of things that i'm still like hmm at some point i need to have a conversation with this person you know so what i mean or like is that kind of like some sort of regret type of thing mm, that that we I, hold on to or i wonder if 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 reflection and regret live in the same house you know what i mean i think it depends on the perspective that you attach on that because if the if the intent right if we go back to that thing if you're reflecting with the intent to grow then it's not a regret it's a True. it's a lesson if anything if True. you can perceive it that way but in some cases um you know you can't perceive it that way yeah i hear you but sometimes like if you get in like a stupid ass argument with somebody mm. and you're leaving i know i'm a very uh emotional person i uh have a lot of empathy for shit that i probably shouldn't have you know what i mean and i'll be like damn i probably shouldn't have treated that person that way mm. you know like i don't regret it i i, right, I get right. that but i have some not i, I don't know if it's i would like say remorse sense, but yeah. it's like kind of like oh damn i probably could have acted better Right. You know what I mean, and then next time is that in the back of your head, and you go, 
I treated this dude like an asshole last time. I'm gonna be nice this time. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Something along that line. Right, right. That's that's it's like this whole thing, man. Like especially with this year, um, we need to reflect, bro. Big time. And like, you know how they say like the the brain like blocks out traumatic experiences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like instant ones that are like really crazy. Some people like they don't remember fully because it's like really traumatic and stuff. I wonder if that's why this year feels like a blur. It really does seem fast, right? <laughs> I was thinking that the other day. I'm like, yo, I remember my birthday happening and then the pandemic. And then the first couple months, I was like, damn, this is fucking crazy. Like, everything was shut down and all sorts of shit. That and toilet now I'm like, paper, bro. I'm like, yo, Christmas is next week, bro. I'm like, <laughs> where the fuck the rest of the, the summer go, man? Yeah. The summer, the fall, like... That's wild, bro. It's, it's just, like, change like that, you know what I'm saying? That's why we need to reflect because that's a lot of time where a lot of things have happened. Um, and and what they say about the whole hindsight is always 2020. It's always... 2020. Right? Oh, dun, dun, dun. It's always valuable Spiracy. to look back, bro, as painful as it might be. You know what I mean? It might be painful, yeah. but it, it's necessary so that you can find the growth. Like, if, if you go back with the perspective of growth, if you, mm -hmm. if you would go with that intent, you can find good. True. If you go back in that intent, you know what I'm saying? But to some people, you know, it, it's a, it's been more challenging than other people. This year's been wild, you know? Yeah, like, mental health is, is massive. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it sucks. People don't talk about it enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and and you know I'm lucky I'm not somebody who suffers from severe anything. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure I have something going on in my head, but like I'm not just in a dark room sitting there, yeah, hating myself type of shit. You know, I I'm not trying to speak ill of it. I'm just trying yeah. to like, like it's just bring, you feel in the, you feel for the people that are yeah, out there that are those, like that don't have the same like blessings or even like. It, their own different blessings it's just like really tough to navigate yeah. through things when you might be really alone in a time like this and especially because you can't go anywhere right 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 or bro, like, you're not supposed to be around your friends or or you're you're definitely scared of the pandemic mm. and know? really like people need to be outside bro like it we all need that because it really does calibrate our like yeah. senses it gives us like hope i don't know man but when shit gets cluttery around me i just gotta look up as crazy as it might be, I just got to look up. I got to see more. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, that's just, like, my mind. Like, my, the way I operate, like, it gives me hope. Mm -hmm. But if you're cooped up inside the crib all day, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking up, it doesn't feel that. You know what I mean? Like, you got to go outside and just, like, take yeah. a breath, bro. Take like, a fucking walk or some shit, Take right? a walk, bro. I walk by the cemetery, bro. That's, like, my favorite thing, bro. It's in the cemetery, I should say. <laughs> so what if, like, you were, you know, you're getting out go and take a walk and just record your thoughts you know reflect mm. at that time you know i bet you there's nice. a lot of opportunities for you to self-reflect yeah bro you know yeah no walking through the cemetery is a great time no why too. why a cemetery um I, I think it reminds me of my um uh or i should say the um the f fragility of life like life okay. is, life is is fragile right yeah. and um mm. and that's why all life is beautiful and precious and should be protected um because it's life you know yeah. I mean? and and sure. when it's gone it's gone it's gone <laughs> and and it's not i don't know like i think differently about death so i don't necessarily think it's gone forever you know i think that maybe there are different um forms of us you know what i mean sure and this is one form of us and then when this form dies we re our energy remains or goes into a different form and you know that's my own idea whatever yeah yeah but uh when i when i walk through cemeteries i think about everybody that's been here i think about everything before me i think about the fact that one tombstone says 1793 and i'd be like Damn, bro, like, people been here. You know Forever, I mean? bro. Forever, like, it makes you feel small. Yeah. 
Like people been here BC, right? BC, bro. BBC. BBC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smack it with a pickle. But really, it it just makes me think a lot about like life and our our time stamps and like that we 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 really gotta make it count. Um, it makes me think about people that I've lost. It makes me think about people that are losing people, you know. And like mm-hmm. it, it just makes me really appreciate life more because I'm walking amongst people that no longer have life or right. things that represent people that no longer have life. You know. True. What I mean? <laughs> to so, clarify, <laughs> I guess that kind of. And it also is down the street from my house. Oh, it's right. convenient. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it, like for real. Like I love walking, walking through, especially in the summer, bro. Like it's the most peaceful thing, and you just hear birds everywhere, bro. Like it's mm-hmm. so quiet, and I feel like they purposely, you know, make them make them deep. Like some some cemeteries are like really deep in, so that you can almost pull away from the traffic noise a little bit, and just appreciate the stillness. You yeah, know I, mean? I know. Like the one that where my dad's buried. Uh, his particular plot is pretty deep in. Hmm. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that go there to walk dogs and stuff like that. And But we have a bench. His tombstone's a bench. And uh, I'll sit there and, like, block everything out. You know what I mean? Like, forget about everything. You kind of just chill. Hmm. Sounds weird, but, you know. But uh, I think we definitely need therapy of some sort yeah in 2020 for real man and and, you know it's it's just like my prayers go out to the world right now bro like for sure i feel like we're going through things we're being deceived in a way (laughs) i don't know it's just like feels crazy yeah i mean that kind of that kind of transitions us to the the conspiracy corner you know (laughs) where uh the vaccine just got released, bro. Oh, my God. The vaccine. You know, so I think it was yesterday Listen, people the, started to get their first. When's the 21st? The 21st. Is, is next, next Monday? It's like Monday, I think. Hmm. What's today? 15? Oh, yo. Today's December 15th, man. Okay. Our guest last week, Fab. Hey. This is birthday, man. Happy Shout birthday, out to Fab our man, Fab. Fab. Happy birthday. Yes. It would be cool if we would have had him here today, huh? I know, it's right. all right. we, need it's to, cool. all right. we don't really think. We kind of just do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the Conspiracy Corner this week um, comes from the vaccine. I feel like it's a great time to talk about the vaccine. Um, obviously, we know that there's two kinds out there. It seems like Pfizer is the one that's being mostly administered. They to make like, Viagra, too. Yeah. <laughs> BBC. <laughs> before, yeah, before, before COVID, COVID yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they really make Viagra, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, so what if what if part of that Pfizer vaccine gives you like a permanent boner, um, bro? What would might, you do? I might consider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be kind of awkward if you're right, you're teaching and you're writing up on the board with a huge. Yeah, I'd be like, no, like, it was my, it was the vaccine. <laughs> Oh my God. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know. I wouldn't do that vaccine ever, bro. Here's why. Here's okay. why, bro. And apparently, and, I, and um, this is from the Texas Medical Center um, website. Um, there's research, new found, newly found research. Not newly found research. I, I'll tell you the date. July 21st, 2020. Uh, fireflies help kindle new tests and treatments for COVID-19, right? Within the fireflies, there's an enzyme that lets them glow. Um, that glowing enzyme is called luciferous. Uh, they, and it seems like the Texas Medical Branch at Galveston, UTMB, uh, have harnessed the enzyme luciferous to translate, sorry, to accelerate diagnostics and uh, vaccine development. Right now, that's just a little like, like the splash, uh-huh. right? The little splash cover. I'm like, all right. So I go into the reading. Um, Basically, these scientists, sorry, it's like weird to read this. These scientists have employed an unlikely partner in the development of treatments for COVID-19, the common firefly, because they have an enzyme that produces a bioluminescence, and that enzyme is called luciferous, right? Mm. Uh, That can attract, they use it to attract potential mates. As well as prey. That's what their so natural use is. they just uses. light up their booty? They just light that up, and, bro, and they come flocking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they might shake it, too. They might Ooh, light like it your, and shake it. I like it. your booty light, baby. Yo, that might be what the future, 
Yeah. <laughs> but here's I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Because <laughs> then, like, if fireflies like their booty, maybe we gonna maybe let our we gonna end up getting our booties lit. You know what I'm saying? And, whoo, twerking gonna look real different Facts, in, in 2022. Yeah. No more black light parties. Booty light parties. Uh, booty light parties. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's kind of wild right there. <laughs> All right, so their conspicuous glow at twilight beco- comes from an enzyme called luciferous, which is an, to be isolated in the lab. So they've isolated the enzyme, and they've been using it um, at, on diagnostic tests for COVID-19. Um, and what the enzyme does, right, mm-hmm. um, the enzyme, the lab can now visually confirm the presence of antibodies that block the COVID infection earlier through a previous uh through previous methods um it seems like they harnessed the luciferous to develop faster diagnostic testing through innovative essays or assays i don't really know how to pronounce that word uh investigative procedures that measure the activity and the amount of the substance so they're basically using the enzyme as a way to confirm the presence of antibodies which is confirmed the presence of the vaccine that's what I'm translating the well, antibody I to? I think the antibodies are, like, if you had COVID and you, then you have those antibodies in, in you already. If you had COVID, then yeah, you so have like, it. Yeah, you have the antibodies because you so already they're... had the COVID, vac- the COVID disease in you. Right, so unless you still oh, have remnants of it. So, but if they if they inject you, are they in, therefore injecting antibodies? I don't believe so. Okay. I I heard today that they're that it's not a a live virus that they're putting in you. You know how like oh, the flu and all that shit when they give you the vaccines, it, it's a there's a, a part of a live virus in there. Yeah, with like the dead babies and stuff like that. Right, right. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting, because they need a host, right? Some shit like that. Yeah. Who knows? Something. <laughs> but supposedly it's like a synthetic version. It's not live. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Like facts, Who knows what facts that means, on it. Yeah. But so the the lab confirms this visual uh, presence of these antibodies that can block the COVID, right? Hmm. Um, now, what's interesting about it is the the name, right? Oh, uh, the name Luciferus. Um, obviously. Well, Ferris is like like light, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. Like fire or light or something. Loose and like fire. Could be like a fire light. Maybe that's why it's a firefly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the 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 root word of luciferous is lucifer, right? Or it, could, it, it depends. I guess if you're, if you're an etymologist, you could probably break it down into multiple things because there's loose. I could see loose in there, like from a Latin stem, you know, you got like loose. Looses. Looses, looses, right? And then you got, uh, what's the other one? Ferris, which you're saying is probably yeah. fire. It's like um, Ferris is like... Uh, a material that is um, uh, flammable. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look up the actual word. Sure. But sure. I, I believe I believe it's somewhere in in that. So the con- the conspiracy lives in the fact, or or lives in that Luciferus, for the the fact that you can see the word Lucifer in it, right? Which which is uh, if people don't know or not familiar with like Bible stuff. Uh, Lucifer is like Satan or the devil. Maybe like, I'm original totally name. wrong on this. You want to hear what I found? Yeah, for what you Ferris? Find? Go ahead. It's the uh, wild, savage, uncivilized, uncultivated, untamed, rough. Interesting. Whoa. Ferris. So like feral cats. You ever seen feral, feral cats? cats? They're just like wow. stray animals or feral animals, right? Interesting. Yeah. So all right, so. I had so then I had my words wrong, but so then it's even more dangerous. <laughs> even more, so it's like Lucifer. If you put Lucifer and Ferris in the same in the same, same word, thing. you got mm. Luciferus, which is this glowing enzyme that I- identifies the presence of these things, right? So the, the 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 part where it gets like conspiracy is in the Bible, um, uh, Revelations thirteen verse six six. Sorry, uh, Revelations thirteen verse sixteen. Is this BC? This would be A D. Oh, okay. A <laughs> D, but B B C. B B C. B C. Oh, okay, yeah, between okay. the A D and the B B C. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says it also it also forced people. So when it says it, it's referring to these beasts that it mentioned previously in the chapter, which I'm honestly not re- not really too familiar with okay. with it. I know that there's like the beasts are metaphorical, 
and that they represent different things and, and there's like symbolic meaning behind the kind of beast and what what it's doing and it has horns and things one of the most popular like beasts that are mentioned in this is this whole uh the the the, the red like, there's a dragon with like multiple heads and one of the heads has a crown and it's supposed to represent this whole um like antichrist and this whole new world order and you know, there's there's other beasts that rep represent other things. I don't know what these beasts represent. Okay. You know what I mean, but what it's what it's saying is that the second beast, when it refers to it, is talking about the second beast in this chapter. All right. And it says it also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name this calls for wisdom let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man the number is 666 which is lucifer mm, I, I think i think it means something else like there's 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 like people that believe that 666 refers to a, a emperor Oh, not emperor. Um, yeah, yeah, an emperor. Like Julius Caesar was an emperor, right? Uh, I yeah, think yeah. so. Yeah, so there was an emperor named Nero uh, from that time, and they've calculated that the sixth letter and like the six that like they they've been able to calculate that it they might have been making a reference to a leader of that time. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but you know, I I just think it it's interesting the whole commerce aspect. Yeah. Because I'm 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 a teacher, and I'd be worried about mandates you know what i mean they mandate healthcare people and they mandate um police you know what i'm saying i think actually like I'm what not, to, to get vaccinated to get vaccinated yes there's certain people that have to and so True. It, it's just interesting like how is that how is that gonna affect our society you know like are we gonna be able to um you know, I feel that there's going to be like a reverse segregation, you know what I'm saying? Where they're going to kind of, instead of making it about color people and all this stuff, it's going to be about sick people and not, you know what I mean? Like, Interesting. It, it, could, it could go in that route where people are going to start to judge and really like say, no, if you sick, or, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'd be getting paranoid. So that's where my mind always goes. Like, how extreme can things get? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I need to make sure I'm good on either Self-reflect. But that's that reflection piece. <laughs> right, right. I'm always like, yo, if it goes this way, am I going to be all right? If it goes this way, am I, I'm going to be all right? Yeah. But, um, so you've yeah. obviously thought about the vaccine. Yeah, of And course. I would assume you're not going to get it. Just I'm from... not going to get it, man. It's like my spirit tell me not to, but but I can't. I don't know. It's like so, everybody's different. I can't blame people that, like, if you're, in the, if you're in the healthcare field and you're, like, in there and people coming in here potentially infected with something that, you know, has... I don't know. I don't believe it, but that could kill you, right? That could kill you. I mean, th those people might need that protection. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you also might need it. If I'm like, coming up across a bunch of kids? What, yeah. Hmm, I know. What if you... I what if I think about that. You could be a carrier. So my, my girl had COVID, and she had it for like two months. My girl is a nurse. Damn. She works in the nursing field. She had it for like two months. She contracted it from work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know... I was around her, so what's the chance that wow. that I had it? You know, I got a great immune system. I mm -hmm. barely get sick. You know, knock on I wood. I never get but sick. You know. Maybe once a year, right? You know, I can't even think of a time this year, because I mean, if we if we got sick this year, we would know. We would know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from my birthday in March until now, the end of December, I haven't got sick once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, so I got a great mm -hmm. immune system. So my body, I might have gotten because of all those mud pies you ate. When you was... Mud pies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was with my girl the weekend that she was feeling sick, but it was back in April, mm. and we thought it was just allergies because that's when the pollen and shit starts right, coming right, out, right. you know, and she's had allergies. Season, yeah. We were together all weekend, and then she went and got tested the next day, and then two days later, boom, positive. So she was sick. You're not staying in the same damn bed. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Wow. How do I know I didn't have COVID and my body is just good enough to fight it? Right. And then I'm walking around like, yeah, I didn't have that shit. 
but I gave it to six people. Hmm. You know? Would I personally get the vaccine right now? No, I wouldn't. I kind of want to see how it goes. I'm not skeptical, but I'm kind of skeptical. I think they need to shine somebody under UV light. They need to... (laughs) But Look, for me to take it, I need to see it. No, I need it. <laughs> um, well, I think like, well, I lo- I looked up the, they have a calculator on when you type in your age, your health, your stuff like that. And it will tell you when roughly you're in line to get the, the vaccine. Yeah. I typed in all my information. You know, I'm 33. I'm young. I'm healthy. I got no health issues. I was... At the very bottom of the list. Wow. You know, and I, there was like millions and millions and millions of people in front of me. So my turn would be around like May, June of 2021 before I would be even eligible to get it. You know, so that gives me a solid five months. Would you look that up? The, it's like a New York Times or something. I'll find it right now what? for you. Yeah, you, so, could, you could take me off that list. New York Times, take me off that list, bro. No, it doesn't have your actual name. No, I know. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, COVID vaccine calculator. But if it did have my name, I would be extra, extra skeptic. Right? <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> skepti, skepti, yo. I just like to question things, bro. Like, learning happens in the questioning phase, bro. Like, for all things, you know. It happens in curiosity. And I mean, if if anything, then I'll learn that the internet is all the wild, wild west of information, and that I need to tread carefully. At mo- at worst, right? True. <laughs> yeah. So it it is the New York Times. Okay. Right. And so here, I'll do it right now, so you can see. How old are you? I'm 33. I live in Bristol County, Massachusetts. I'm not what? a healthcare worker. How you know what? Okay, okay. I see. It's I giving see. you like options right there, like drop downs. Yeah. I see, I see. It tells you like how old are you? What county do you live in? Do you work in these professions? Healthcare worker, essential worker, first responder, teacher. So, oh, here, you know what? Fuck it. Let's look at you since you're actually Let's on do this it. category. Let's do it. So, what are you, you 34? You old, right? Mm. 34. What <laughs> is this Bristol County still? I don't know. I don't Providence know what the county. Put, put, put Providence County. That makes sense. <laughs> Providence County. Providence, yeah. Providence, Providence County, Rhode Island. Yeah. You're a teacher. Yeah. Any COVID related health issues, health risks? Uh, no. Just that added Actually, victim yeah. surgery you got. Wait, no, huh? I don't even know, bro. <laughs> You're a pretty healthy guy, right? I'm a healthy dude, bro. You're not, like Super fucking. Healthy. I never severe. get sick. You yeah. Know? My girl hates it because I never get sick. You don't. All right, so we hit submit, and it says based on your risk profile, we believe. You're in line behind 135.7 million people across the United States. When it comes to Rhode Island, we think you're behind 446,800 people. And in this particular county alone, 267,000 people in front. So then it shows like a little snake graph, right? Shows like all the healthcare workers, first responders, nursing home people. It goes down and down and down and down. And then it shows you. So you're you're kind of kind of smack dab in the middle, you know, because you're. You better you're put a me at the bottom. But bro. my ass is over here, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll jump back to me real quick so I can show you. You better chill with it's that. It's kind of crazy. Bro. That so is crazy. Basically, like my that. my point in this That's is great. that I'm gonna have five six months to see to see what of what affects people. You know, right, right. Hmm. It's not gonna. You're not gonna see it in five or six months. That's the yeah, thing. true. People are gonna start glowing, bro. That's my theory. I'm gonna stick to it. People are gonna start glowing, and it's gonna be a very obvious sign that you are vaccinated, and that's how they're gonna let you enter and not enter places because you're not even gonna either that or they're gonna have like something that develops where you can just scan your hand, and it's like a it's a light that scans the antibody of kind of like this when you enzyme. go when you go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. They give you a stamp, but you can't see it. But you it, can't bro. see it. And your kids get the same stamp. And when right. you bounce, they check and make sure everybody got it. 
It's kind of going to be like that. It's going to be like the enzyme is in there, and then when they when they like scan, you know how they got like metal, what's it called, uh, metal scanners and yeah, shit, yeah, and all the type of stuff. They're going to have detectors that are going to be able to just detect. Yeah. Through I don't know, like activating the enzyme from the outside. Huh. I don't know. It'd be tricky. So <laughs> my particular um, place in line: two hundred and sixty-eight point seven million people in front of me. Five point four million people just in Massachusetts. And 451,000 people in front of me in my own county. Wow. So I'm going to be, there's 268.7 million people that qualify to get the COVID vaccine before I would get the COVID vaccine. So I'm going to see something. Right. That's what I'm saying. I see. I you see. know what I mean? There's going to be plenty, <laughs> plenty of, uh, like, a, a nice pool of results. Good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hope good, obviously. And I don't think it's going to be bad, bro. I agree. I, I don't think it's going to be bad. I think it is going to mark you, though. I don't think it's going to kill people. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's, it's supposed to heal. But I, really I think, think that, bro, bro, people, they're going to be able to detect it somehow. Why? What else is that enzyme going to do? Like, what else is that shit going to do? Its but, only okay, job so, is to illuminate. <laughs> so, I just feel like they don't tell you all things that are in it. Like, like we talked about one of the other things. For for but that reason, you what know? if that enzyme affects those bugs differently than it does humans? Oh, that's interesting. You know, like I'd like to see cats eat cat food, right? Yeah, we probably couldn't eat cat food all the time. Mm. You know, there's specific things for specific people. Oh. Like you fuck a dog. Guess what? You ain't having a a baby puppy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. Like humans and humans are one thing, right? True. But humans and animals are different. <laughs> No, so I how like do we that, know like that, that Luciferus in a bug uh-huh. that lights up it his lights, ass, how do we know it's going to light up our ass, bro? Or maybe we won't be able to with, withstand the sun. It could be too much light. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like It could potentially just um, it make us reject sunlight. I don't know. It could, uh, you know, we've seen I Am Legends. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of where I be my mind be going. What was that movie with uh, Sandra Bullock that came out last year? What you, uh, what's it called? Bird box? Bird box. Yeah, like you can't see because it's a beast. You think they would wow. really fuck us up that bad, bro? Um, <laughs> That's kind of wild. They already got us fucked up. True. <laughs> and but they you didn't know even we, do anything. But you know what they we should do? They didn't even do anything. Oh, except release a virus. But that's it's not for everybody. <laughs> I think what we need to do is self-reflection. Amen. It's facts, y'all. Yeah. I, I always be thinking about it like, man, am I going crazy? I, don't, I ask people. I don't just read this and be like, no, this is what's happening. I share it with people like, yo, am I going crazy? These are my connections. Like, am, am, am I just reaching? And I can see when sometimes I'm reaching. And then sometimes it's like, like that particular enzyme, the name of it, what's going on, it just really makes me, um, it just, it's like, um, um, they say that um, antennas on like insects um, help identify movement for predators and and or prey. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like they can use those. And I feel like that's what's happening with my like spirit. You know what I'm saying? My spirit is like an antenna that's like, hey, I know you haven't been to church like all the time, but yo, uh, you remember this thing they talked about? Maybe you should wake up to it. I don't know. Oh shit. Because it's not like I'm out here like trying to preach to people. I really, I'm out here living my life. But just some things from the past. It, yeah, it's just like, wow. Like, that's what I remember hearing when I was a kid. Why does it feel so eerie mm-hmm. like that, you know? But I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have to just see if people start glowing. If 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 everybody, that, yo, if, if you took a COVID vaccine, I need you to go tanning. <laughs> so I can make sure that you're not <laughs> allergic to some UV light. <laughs> you know what uh, I'm saying? I want to see you tanning. Um... <laughs> I don't know what else, man. I'm thinking, like, you know, we're going to have to just wait and see and, uh, yeah, man. and hope for the best. Well, I, I think we gave the people a lot of shit to reflect on. You know, I just want people to reflect on one more thing real quick. The fact that Giannis signed a fucking 200 and something, like 230 something million dollar fucking contract today, which is insane. That's insane. The How most many years? Five year extension, super max extension. The most. In NBA history, I don't uh, have the number that's like off the 40 top. Forty something. That's it's, like forty something mil. It's like two hundred. Yeah, it's like a year. I'm I want to say it's like two fifty or something. I can find the number real quick. Give me two seconds. So that's a supermax contract. Yeah. So a supermax is you can be offered a certain amount of money by a team, but if you were drafted by that team, they can offer you the most money. 
So oh, ultimately, they give the team that drafted you the last choice. Word. So Damn, that's yeah, crazy. I'll get the 228 million. Still didn't million. catch all that. The super max thing. Yeah. So a max the, deal. Uh huh. Is you know a team is only allowed to offer you a certain amount of money according to like salary cap. Salary cap and yeah, shit I've heard like of that. that. Yeah. Well, if you're drafted by a team. That team, and you're still on that team. Like Giannis was drafted by the Bucks, and he's still there. And he's still there. They could offer. They offer him a super max deal that nobody else can offer him the amount that Milwaukee offered. Oh, him. I see. So yeah, two hundred and twenty-eight million over five years. Wow, that's dope. Which is crazy, right? I'm a I'm a Giannis fan, bro. I'm all about the Giannis, bro. I get my bucks. That's why. <laughs> She's stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm all about the bucks. That's forty-five million a year, bro. Forty-five. Could change the yeah. fucking world with that. Wow. You know? But That's hey, a lot of money. What are you gonna do? We just gotta keep grinding, bro. You gotta keep grinding and get that kind of huh? Self-reflecting. It hey, reflect, yo. There's a lot of growth and reflection. Like I'm experiencing it daily, you know. And I think that we all need a little bit of moment to just reflect, yo. You know I agree. Mean? Appreciate you coming by, yo. Yeah, no doubt. Always, Doing bro. this all day. I'll be back next week, man. Yeah, we're back here next week. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Always. And catch us on Spotify and Apple Music mm -hmm. and uh, Podchaser mm. and TuneIn. Mm. And pretty soon we're going to be Amazon. Um, sorry, Google. We already Amazon Alexa and TuneIn. TuneIn Alexa. Uh, we we almost yeah. on, on Pandora. We about to. We already submitted. We're just waiting for approval. It's almost yes. there. You know, we, we got our volume issues fixed a little bit. Yeah, this we, should sound we're better. We're still working. We're gonna Let work us on know. Some Let us scenes. know how it sounds. Yeah, thanks, y'all, for tuning in. You know, my biggest thing was I know it's hard to sit down and just watch YouTube for an hour and right, stay focused, right. you know. Um, but you know, since we on these podcasts streaming, you can throw some headphones in, drive your way to work, and we got that 12-inch snowstorm coming. Yeah. So y'all ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. You might as well that. tune in and check out the crazy shit we talked well, about. Well, this is gonna be out after the snowstorm, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, man, I appreciate yes. everybody. Yes, and thank you. Thank you for tuning in, for staying this long. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Yes, please. It's down the bottom somewhere. Yeah, and if you... That's, if you, that's what they do, right? Yeah, down home. here, like over yeah. here, like over there. It might be like right in front of my face. Who you knows? Know what I mean? <laughs> BBC. Yes. Yeah. So just reflect, yo. Yes. God bless y'all. Be safe out there. Peace. Peace.